What is up guys today? I got a really short video for you guys today about the Link G4X plug and play ECU from them. We're gonna be using this on the RB car that we're building for Chris's RB25 S13. Lots and lots of stuff to do on this car, but wanted to give you a quick little idea of what's gonna go on with this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this, walk you through a few things, show you the car, and you guys have to wait to see the dyno video. about the link g4x ecu so this whole video is going to be basically about the plug and play units that they have by link for all your nissan applications so this is going to be for let's just say ka sr20 ca18 rb25 rb20 rb26 anything in the nissan community of engines that i play with i'm sure they have this for 350z and g35 and all kinds of other ones but for the application that we're working on this is a g4x uh, the part number is 2144000. Um, it is the NGTRX series. And we're going to go ahead and be unboxing this today and showing you what's up. So first thing I like about this is, um, you know, it's got a pretty nice box. It says there's some limited lifetime warranty stuff on it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open the first box. And uh, the first thing you see with this is... You have this board that has the OEM Nissan connector in it already, um, and just like some sealed package. I don't know how I feel about that, but hey, I mean, we're, we're gonna use it anyway, so let's go ahead and get that open. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a close up right now and show you what's all up with the board and um, how nicely done it is actually. So we'll go ahead and bring the camera over here for that so I can show you. And then uh, see what we have in the side. The side I'm assuming probably has a connector. Okay, no connector on that, it's kind of weird. Okay, so somehow that just fell out. You have your ECU connector that will connect to now your link style connector. I I've seen this connector before. Um, I don't know if I really like it. Uh, it's got like kind of, kind of like a little cam lock style connector, just to USB. And it is, you know, specific to link, which I mean, I guess it's kind of cool for that kind of stuff. They give you some cool stickers. Uh, you know, obviously to put on the outside of the ECU and also for your car, you know, pretty cool their logo I mean, I'm definitely kind of a fan for it the crazy speed racer mad scientist So that's kind of cool. The cool thing about this box though um, Or this unit is it actually goes into the factory computer Unlike all the other like full standalones that will come with their whole entire new box this one will just basically replace your ECU board that you have in yours and then Getting over here, um, it also looks like you have an internal map sensor that goes onto the board, which is kind of weird that they don't give you any instructions. Um, I don't know if they expect you to pull it up online or how it is, but let me get the, the uh, phone right now and show you guys what's what's up with this. All right, guys, so let's get right into this. So all in all, I mean, it's pretty cool looking. What I do see, you can also see right here, R34 GTR, blah, 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 blah. Couple little things right here. 2.3, 1.0, other models. I'm assuming you can use this on multiple different applications since the Nissan connectors are pretty universal. Um, there's, uh, I think there's like two different ones for the ones that I've seen. So over here, it looks like we got a pressure sensor that's gonna be built in and already put to the board. Here's where you have your adapter for your link connector. Like I said, I don't know how I really feel about this data connector, but 
this is the only thing that I found that was kind of interesting. So you're gonna use this thing called an expansion pack. I'll get it in a minute. And it looks like all of your sensors are labeled at the board, which is kind of cool. So you have your five volt, you know, your, your temps got voltage, ground, ignition, you know, I don't know how all these work because I've never really done this style ECU. I usually wire it from the ECU pinout uh, for a full standalone, but I mean, you got some can stuff over here and OBD stuff. I mean, it's cool that the board's labeled. I'll definitely give them that. Um, you know, I only reason that I'm not a big fan of this computer, um, these, these kind of plug and play like the IS300 and these Nissan ones is, it gets really redundant because you're having to run um, a onboard or not onboard, sorry, but just you, you're having to run like, like an AEM wideband in the car, similar to like the old school V2 stuff. And then you're having to run a wire from the gauge into your computer. Well, I mean, with the new CAN system and everything else being there now, like why would you want to have to wire everything in like the older systems? Um, you know, my opinion, that's kind of old school and kind of ghetto to have to do something like that. But uh, I mean, for the ease of customers wanting to just have a plug and play ECU, I mean, I've tuned on their IS300, GS300 stuff before, you know, we had a very good outcome. The customer hasn't had any problems at all with it. And I mean, it, it wasn't too hard to get it all set up. So, I mean, for all you guys looking for a plug and play ECU for your Nissans, I mean, this might be the next best thing guys, since, you know, AEM is through the roof when it comes to those kind of cars for plug and play units. So let me grab the expansion pack and we can kind of look into that and see how we're gonna wire it up. All right, guys. So getting into this real quick, you're going to have to buy one of these link expansion plug loom connector assemblies to be able to plug into either or of these here. And based off of one, what you're going to be installing, you're going to have your sensor ground, your sensor five volt, and then you're going to have digital inputs, uh, voltage scale inputs, uh, obviously temperature inputs, and then you have ignition ones um auxiliary inputs and a bunch of other stuff that you can go ahead and hook up so judging that i'm going to be running oil pressure um fuel pressure and flex fuel i'm assuming that i should still be able to run two of these because i'm only going to need two inputs of either voltage or digital inputs or whatever we're going to be using so i think one expansion plug should work these just plug directly in it comes with a huge amount of wiring to where you should be able to run this all into the car I went ahead and took it out of the package just so you guys could see. It'll plug right into the side, but since I built on my own harnesses and I kind of didn't want to deal with all that, I went ahead and made my own loom right here uh, where I left all my own pigtails. I made my own little typed up sheet of what everyone is and I labeled everything. So it'll be super nice for the customer. Intake air, oil pressure, map sensor. Uh, you have your fuel pressure right here. You have your flex fuel right here. And then you have your boost control right here. So um, I did not get enough information from them. I actually went ahead and, and found one of these from one of the other units that we did a while ago. Um, I didn't really get enough information from this, guys. So don't be surprised when you buy this if, uh, you know, they don't really tell you how to wire everything up. I mean, yeah, it shows you here what everything stands for. Digital input, analog input, you know, auxiliary output, stuff like that. But it doesn't designate for this computer which one is which it just says oh initial setup initial setup initial setup how the ecu is supposed to be set up from the initially um with you know your pin out stuff there back here um of what pins and for what we're going to be hooking up to which it doesn't even show the pins that are down here i mean over here so anyways guys i don't know what, what the deal is with uh their communication i know a lot of people run their units and are reasonably happy um, I'm going to go ahead and give them a call and do some research on that and figure out exactly what these things stand for and where they want their pins because every ECU is different. Yes, I know how you wire the Haltech. Yes, I know how you wire the AEM, but, you know, I just want to verify with them that it's good. So pretty much, guys, I'm going to go ahead and you're going to make a sub harness or you're going to use this sub harness. You're going to plug into this thing. You're going to put it in the car. You're going to, you know, hook up to the USB and you're going to fire this thing right up. So... All right, guys, so this is pretty much gonna conclude the unboxing for the G4X standalone from Link. Uh, pretty cool product. I mean, for the bang for your buck, it's not gonna be bad. And Chris's car is almost done, guys. So stay up with the video. This will be getting put online of a dyno, 
the startup on this ECU and a bunch of other stuff. So Clint, I wanted to just give you guys a quick teaser and a little bit of information about the ECU. If you're looking to do this, um, obviously after the video is done, if you guys have any questions or concerns or things you want to ask about this, um, obviously after we do the Nissan thing, I'll be able to kind of give you a little bit more information. But I mean, this thing is just super badass, guys. We got the Peak Boost Manifold, Turbo Smart Hypergate GT Wastegate. We went ahead and painted the bay, went ahead and went with the Deese Motor Intake Manifold with some... Uh, 1200cc injectors, all the sensors you could possibly need to be able to monitor your engine. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, so stay with it. Front end's gonna be going on, cars gonna be getting put back together in the next few weeks. It should be on the dyno. Thanks for watching.